Hey everyone, I Simplify Tech here and I think I found the best wireless Android Auto adapter. Yep, you guessed it, it's the uh, AA wireless uh, second generation. And if you're not familiar with this kind of stuff, this basically eliminates the need of cables uh, in order to pair the phone with your uh, infotainment system. So if your car has uh, Android Auto, then you don't need to uh, plug it in anymore every time you want to take advantage of uh, Android Auto. So keep on watching because I'm going to show you why AA Wireless 2 is the best adapter on the market. So we're gonna start by uh, plugging into the same uh, USB port that we uh, use for Android Auto and then we're gonna pull up our uh, uh, Bluetooth list here on our uh, uh, phone and we're gonna look specifically for uh, AA wireless and then we'll follow all the prompts on the uh, um, car screen and on the uh, phone screen. This process only takes uh, a second, it's pretty uh, easy and uh, straightforward. It's just the first time that we uh, have to do this on the first setup then the uh, uh, device will automatically uh, connect to each other without having to uh, uh, do this so so next up we're gonna do a, a loading or boot time test uh, and in this test I used three different cars uh, so far the Benz was the quickest uh, to load up right after the uh, a disclaimer or a warning screen so to be fair i'm just gonna count after uh, uh, hitting continue on both uh, cars and actually this test uh, just proves that uh, it's a fast unit it's just gonna be up to the vehicle infotainment system in Toyota finished with just a little over 8 seconds, pretty good, uh, Kia it's still thinking, so as I said, it's really gonna depend on the uh, car infotainment system uh, and the communication between that and the uh, uh, phone itself, some cars may take longer than others, but overall this should be the uh, fastest unit on the uh, market right now. And I can't believe the Kia is still taking uh, its sweet time. But there we go. We got 32 seconds for Kia to load up. So the test was performed with the same phone, which is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. So it's not a slow device. It's just really up to the uh, car. Anyway, let's uh, go back to testing the screen uh, responsiveness. And uh, so far, it seems like it's doing pretty uh, uh, good here. It seems super snappy and i don't see anything uh, really lagging behind i'm not having uh, trouble uh, tapping twice or uh, uh, tapping more than uh, once and you know messing things up there none of that is happening so i'm pretty happy how it uh, feels so far even uh, uh, testing the uh, uh, news uh, google news here it just feels as good as uh, you would uh, have a wired connection where the data is super fast and in the next test we'll uh, test the new uh, feature that aa wireless 2 has which is the uh, button it is for uh, switching in between uh, two android uh, phones so if you have uh, two drivers with two different phones, you can uh, switch it. And as you saw, it was uh, pretty quick and uh, smooth, uh, really painless. You don't have to, uh, uh, you know, open up your phone. Both phones were in my pocket and I did not have to interact with the phones. Both phones have to be uh, uh, paired prior uh, to uh, using the uh, switching uh, button or switching uh, feature. Um, but uh, one of the ways you can do that is uh, getting this uh, AA wireless for Android Auto app from the Play Store. Uh, and I'm going to show you this app is actually pretty cool. This is what makes this uh, unit uh, one of the best on the market. I'm going to show you why here in a second, but we're going to go uh, uh, and do a quick walkthrough to the uh, settings here, through the events settings. And uh, we got the uh, a bunch of uh, settings here few of them that word mentioning is the uh, change the uh, pi so this is basically gonna change the uh, uh, resolution of the uh, android uh, aro uh, interface uh, i'm gonna set it for 50 so just to see what that does to uh, the uh, head unit um, this is really helpful especially if you have a high definition uh, screen then uh, you can really uh, make uh, things more uh, spacious in there so as you can see uh, it just maybe I went too much with 50 but as you can see the whole layout changed uh, it gives me more informations but it's very tiny so it may not work 
properly with uh, 50 on this specific screen but again this is a cool feature if uh, uh, you have uh, as I said a uh, high definition screen or a wide screen where you want more content shown in there you can play with that um, DPI another cool feature uh, or setting I should say it's the auto video uh, focus this uh, uh, automatically opens Android auto uh, upon connection so if some of uh, the infotainment systems that are not uh, automatically opening the uh, uh, or showing the Android auto this will uh, make it do that then we got the uh, developer mode this is one very important settings and uh, I will uh, show you why because this really allows uh, apps like Firmara Auto to be installed on uh, Android or shown on the uh, Android screen so if you're not familiar with uh, Firmara Auto this is a cool app that allows you to play uh, uh, YouTube uh, or Netflix or really anything or even mirror your uh, screen to the car so I'm gonna show you how it works uh, but on this phone that I have uh, currently connected right now I don't have a sim card uh, but I will uh, uh, connect I will just demonstrate the uh, mirror with this one with the uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy Z Flip 5 um, I can uh, mirror the uh, phone screen to the unit and uh, with this really you can uh, mirror pretty much anything YouTube or Netflix or Hulu any any streaming app or anything you wanna you know have from the phone uh, mirrored to the uh, device that can uh, be done and the cool thing is that you can uh, actually control it with uh, the uh, um, infotainment as well I what I did wrong here is just I uh, kept my finger on the uh, phone screen and that kind of uh, made the touch screen not work properly but then I figured out wait a second I don't have to tap it there we go um, this is how it works you can have your uh, um, whole phone on the car screen which I think is pretty cool and in this segment of the video I used a, a different Android uh, phone uh, to uh, show you how a Fermara app actually works with uh, YouTube uh, since on the uh, Samsung I did not have any uh, sim card uh, and uh, that results in no internet but anyway uh, as I said uh, Fermara works a web uh, um, browser but if you are interested in installing this uh, app or how to install it uh, I will have a link in the video description it's a pretty cool app and as you can see it really feels uh, really snappy and smooth so I'm really impressed with uh, this uh, AA wireless Android uh, device it's really uh, it's really a game changer I should uh, say but um, yeah so this is it for this video I hope you understand why this is the best uh, Android Auto uh, wireless adapter on the market right now and if you are interested in purchasing I'm gonna have the link in the video description so feel free to check that out but uh, if you like this kind of content feel free to share it click like and subscribe for more uh, similar videos now I'll see you in the next video